So, you'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yes. Here, and keep the change. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. When did that old chestnut become a bestseller? You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you like to read. But you should be able to find a copy somewhere on that shelf over there. So, are you buying or not? In ancient times, Liyue was a land of misery, where the shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter. Purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them. Phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear. Turned on each other. Or succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three while the fourth vanished without a trace. In the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyon, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, is his memory preserved. about the Yakshas, a group of Adepti who defend Lyue. Hmm, seems like a pretty niche topic. Was there anything that stood out to you? The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Oh, <gasps> hey, wait a second. Paimon wonders if... Do you think those super evil hilly trolls we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Oh. It's so tragic. 
After everything they went through in all of their years of protecting Lila, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. So, there used to be five main Yakshas, but supposedly only one of them is still alive today. Do you think that it could have anything to do with that Star Snatcher guy? Hmm. No, surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. Yep, Paimon thinks we've already summed up all the key points. So back to the matter at hand. The things we need answers on are one, where did those super evil looking hilly trolls come from? And two, what does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas, right? Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigation. Let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Dway and Karst and let the truth shine through in its full glory. <laughs> to be honest, Paimon actually hopes he is a real adeptus. Uh, his exorcism technique seemed real enough at least. Hmm. But if we get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down. So, it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. Alright, let's head back to Wangshu Inn! <laughs> Flee at my command, foul demon! <laughs> Why didn't the sigil of permission do anything? Has the evil aura of these hilly churls grown in intensity? Sigil of permission, huh? Now why does that sound familiar? Right! It's a keepsake of the Adepti, so it must still contain traces of their power! Oh, no wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier! What are you two babbling on about? One is merely underslept, meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Were one but given another opportunity... Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of evil hilly churls over there. Should we leave them to you, then? I, uh, uh one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. Ugh, so you were just bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. <sighs> Come on, traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them. 